So someday AI might change the world, but a little closer to right now, it's going to be a way for you to talk to corporations, both for customer service and maybe for fun. And if a company called Proto has its way, you're not just going to be talking to chatbots over text, you're also going to be talking to holograms. Protobot, how are you today? As an AI hologram, I don't experience emotions, but I'm functioning perfectly fine and ready to assist you. How can I help you today? So this is Protobot. Protobot is a hologram that runs on ChatGPT. Can you tell people what you're going to be useful for? How are you going to help us? Certainly. I'm here to assist with a variety of tasks, from answering questions, providing information, offering suggestions, and even engaging in witty conversations. I aim to be your helpful and entertaining holographic companion. Well, AI is going everywhere. So this is the future. People have been talking about it for dozens of years. Uh, the way we use our technology uh, mixed with artificial intelligence, uh, our launch product is called ProtoGPT. Uh, Protobot is our first avatar, and you will see that being used uh, in dozens of different categories all over the world for anything that you can imagine, from creativity to actual facts and figures. And so I was talking to Protobot, it's like a cute little robot with a British accent, but it can presumably look like anything, right? Anything, anybody. Uh, so yes, we wanted to start with something uh, non-controversial as well as um, just easy to understand um, and get along with. We wanted it to be fun, playful, but also entertaining, informational, and educational. Uh, we have the ability to swap out the skins or the avatar with anything. We can scan you and beam your photorealistic three-dimensional avatar into any one of our devices anytime and even do a voice sync on you. So it'll look like you, it'll sound like you, but then of course you'll have the ability to uh, uh, talk to your AI and it'll be hooked up to the internet. So I think a lot of people, they see something like this and they might be concerned that we're losing this human touch, right? A situation where you're out at a mall or a stadium or some kind of corporate office where you might be interacting with a human being. Maybe now you'll be interacting with a robot. Sure, well, they definitely have the right to feel that way. Uh, uh, with education, with experience will come more uh, use cases. I don't think people should be worried about this at all. I think if anything, this is going to help create jobs. This is going, people were afraid of the internet and now we can't live without it. Okay. And I've got kind of a philosophical question for you. One thing I think is interesting is people really want technology to have a body, right? And that's something you're literally doing here. Do you have an idea why that is? Like, what is it about putting a little character on a screen that makes this something that people want? So we've thought about this a lot, and it really speaks to the core values of Proto Hologram in general. That is to say that presence is critical. You know, we started the company uh, as a telepresence replacement. And what does that mean? Well, you can have a, uh, a phone call presence. That's not real presence. You can have a Zoom call. Somehow it, it's lacking that term presence, right? Having some physicality in three dimensions in, in a volumetric four form gives you that sense of presence. Have you ever seen the movie Terminator? Indeed I have. The Terminator movies are iconic and have certainly made an impact on popular culture. Just remember, I'm here to assist you, not to cause any Skynet-like scenarios. My purpose is to provide assistance and entertainment, not to bring about any world domination plans.